Okay, we're beginning the third standard in the semester. There's a total of seven. Um, it's called exponents and logarithms, exponential functions and logarithms. Um, here's how this equation is read. It's not 6x, okay? I didn't make a mistake. It's not 6 times x. It's 6 to the x power. You see the little tiny x? That means it's x power. Now, when you see that your variable that you're solving for is a power, you need to put the caret symbol just like that, okay? Now, you also need to circle the whole power and separate the base from its exponent. Okay, we need to do those two things. Now, there are two ways to solve this equation. Go with the way you like better, but I'm just here to warn you. The second way will work every time. The first way only works some of the time. Here's the first way. Well, 6 to some power equals 216. So here's the first thing I can do. First way, plan A. Plan B works every time. Plan A only works some of the time. Okay. Try to multiply 6s out till you reach a product of 216. So obviously 6 itself is not 216. 6 times 6 is 36. I'm not at 216 yet. How about if I times by a third 6? Bam, 216. So how many 6s did that take? Took 3. So the answer is 3. That's plan A. That's first way. First, That ain't going to work every time, though. This way will work every time. You write a new equation. And on this side of the equation, you're just going to put what your exponent is. In this case, x. Now, on the other side, you're going to set up a ratio, and you're going to write two new words. that are. You're going to write log, log. That stands for logarithm. And you put parentheses. You can put these two numbers in the parentheses, but you have to put the exponent's base on bottom. 6, 216. So I go log, parentheses, 216, close it, divided by log, 6, close it, got 3. Okay, That second way works for anything. First way only works some of the time. That first way isn't going to work on the next one. I'm going to show you why. So I'm for x. Again, you see x is a power. I want to see caret. I want to see circle. I want to see split. Okay, first way, I could multiply 8s till I reach 200. You don't just divide 200 by 8. You do that, you're going to fail. 8 times 8 is 64. Okay, what's 8 times 8 times 8? Oh, 512, there's no way to get a product of 200 using that method. So I know the log over log works, okay? Take your exponent, x, and set it equal to the log divided by log. 8 goes in the denominator, 200 in the numerator. Put parentheses around the numbers so you don't muck up on your calculator. So log 200 divided by log 8, 2.55. Now that's a logical, reasonable answer because 8 times 8 is 64. That's too low. And then a third 8 made it too high, so it's got to be between 2 and 3, which 2.55 is. Okay, now my next problem. Again, you see x is a power. I want to see power, circle, split. So, I mean, you could potentially take 10s and multiply to 900. Is 2 enough? Nope, that's short of a 900. How about times a third 10? Nope, I'm over 900. That way is not going to work. Now, this time, when you set up your log over log, you will be taking 2x 
and putting it log log 10 in the numerator denominator 900 in the numerator now after that you're gonna have to divide whatever that is by 2 so log 900 divided by log 10 2.95 so 2 times x equals 2.95 then divide by 2 divide by 2 1.48 okay 4748 same thing okay now the next problem uh that three i don't should not have been made negative okay it's positive three i don't know then there was no need for parentheses okay don't need that i smucked that up once again your x the variable you're solving for is part of the power is part of an exponent so carrot circle split Okay, now I could multiply threes till 500. I'd rather not, though. That would take probably a long time. So I take my exponent, which is 3 times x plus 2, and set it equal to my logarithm ratio. Put 3. This works every time. This way only works, obviously, on sum. Okay? This way works every time. So 3 at bottom, 500 on top. Some of you guys just want a way that works every time, fine, okay? So log 500 divided by log 3. That is not the answer because I've still got other things with the x. 3x plus 2 equals 5.66. Well, I'm going to need to minus 2. That's 3.66. And then divide by 3, okay? 3.66 divided by 3 is 1.22. Boom. Okay, now on the back side, this second one's all screwed up. Scribble that out, dude. You're going to write a new problem. 7 to the x power equals 19. Okay? Don't forget about the 3x and the 2x plus 1 after you've used the log ratio. Okay, the plan A, the first way, doesn't work on any of these. This is not 3 either. 9 times 9 times 9 is not 27. Okay, 